Yo, a lot of people catch bricks in the head in this book. Saigon yeah. gets beat up. Noriega gets beat up in the book. <laughs> Keith Murray hits the park. <laughs> Jay Z. We're going to talk about the Jay Z moment. Um, Nas gets beat real hard. And not <laughs> right, when y'all read the book, you'll see who. You, but there's a bunch of moments where you're going in and out. And I know you told complex and other people that you got out and mm -hmm. called Nas to watch whatever it was before you went away. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how does what's in this book not explode that again? You're really going at him, dude attacking him in the studio, you call him a liar, you this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, everything that I'm saying is just really what happened. You know what I mean? So, you know, he, you know, that's what it was, and that's why we had to have that conversation. You know what I'm saying? On over the phone, and, whatnot. and um, that's why I made sure I made that happen because, you know, I wanted him to know that, you know, it's not even like that. You know what I mean? That, that, um, that my love for him is, is beyond all that. Also, you know what I mean? On similar to, to the love I got for him, but it is different. But you know, they're similar in a way, you know what I mean? Because you know, Nas is my brother, you know what I mean? And the problems that we had wasn't even between me and him. It was people around us, you know what I mean? It was like people around me that didn't get along with him, and people around him that didn't get along with me. But know? also, when you first rhymed for Nas, yeah. when you were 16, mm -hmm. Queen's Bridge, and he told you to your face, no, no, no. And then he went and told Hab, that was whack. You need to be sold, separate from that dude. Yeah. You didn't find out until later. Yeah. You know, you kind of lied to you, and you bring that out in the book. Yeah, but I didn't take offense to that. You know, I, I say in the book that uh, that that actually helped me. You know what I mean? And and, and, I, and I ain't had no animosity towards that. And, uh, you know, that pushed me to be more creative and to really become good at what I do. You know what I mean? And, and try to become better at what I like, at what I was doing. So, you know, I, I had no hard feelings towards him. You know, I never did, man. You know, I always loved him. Now. But with Jay Z, there's no love lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jay, that, that was a little different. You know what I mean? Because he ain't he ain't in the band, so it's like he was, he was a stranger. You know what I mean? Coming in like, you know, just trying to do something, trying to make things like with it, make it into something that it wasn't. You know what I mean? I mean, you're the first one. This is what you say in the book. You're the first one to tell God, like, yo. Jay is coming at us on his yeah. records. We need to do something. And I was like, ah, don't worry about him. And you're like, no, we need to get a dude. Yeah. I mean, that's how I felt. You know, I mean, you to, to handle that situation because he was maybe taking some little new shots at us and you know, um, saying little things about Nas. So I was like, you know what? You know, this is my mentality at that time. I'm like, man, this is we 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 attacking anybody that's going at us. I don't even care what it is, the smallest thing. You know what I mean? We're going to attack it. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what it was. But it blew up big. When you heard the takeover, what was your emotional response when you first heard it? That, that recommends you not to go home. Yeah, I mean, when I heard it, I was like, man, I, 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 that's, good. that's what's up. That's a good one. <laughs> you thought it was a good shot. Yeah, yeah that was a good one. But when I think about it now, I was talking about, I was talking about this to somebody last night. When I think about it now, it was like um, when, that, when that whole you know little rap battle started, I was like, I was like angry, like because I wanted to really do something, like I wanted to beat him up. Like, you know, I know what we can do when we see him. This is going to be something for real. It's not just going to be back. You know? so, a lot of anger was coming out of me, like man, when we catch you, you know what it is, man. And that threw me off a little bit. I think. As far as my creativity, you can't let your anger get be the best thing, you know what I'm saying? And I think Nas, the anger he came at, he was being real creative. And that's when he killed me with that hatred, you know what I mean? Because he wasn't being angry, Nas was being creative, you know what I mean? And that's how, that's how he did it. I mean, it is easier about wanting to do something, because that battle was critical in hip-hop history. The first huge battle that came after a big Pac, there. Yeah. And when the shots started coming, take over ether, I think everybody was worried like, man, can't have that again. Yeah. Lose more of our, our heroes. And um, so for that to end non-violently, yeah. everybody was like, oh. 
Yeah, but the there was a night, was it at Justin's? Yeah. When you guys came face to face mm -hmm. and you were really thinking about doing something. Tell them about that. Yeah, basically it was like uh maybe like four months after the summer jam thing and, and you know, around the time of that winter, right after summer jam. Uh we was in Justin and I was with a whole bunch of my boys in Point Grey. And um, you know, we had the DJ said so Jay Z in the house, shout out to Jay Z and Jermaine Free in the house. He's like, what? We've been in the club for hours, we ain't seen anything else. So we're like, all right, so we surrounded the front door. So we come leave without them seeing anything. You know? so, um, they was leaving the club, and um, you know, they didn't see me. And he put his hand out, you know what I mean? He's like, yo, he shook my hand, he's like, yo, it's just music, son. He's like, you know, we ain't gonna leave anything, we just keep the music. I said, all right, cool, you know what I mean? And we left like that. And, and, that was right, and that was right after the summer jam. Talk about the summer jam, Nick. He really caught you in the stomach with that one. Yeah. Last the picture of you yeah. from your grandmother's dance studio. You were tap dancing in the picture? Nah, I, I, that was my little Michael Jackson pose. I thought I was Michael Jackson. <laughs> Talk about what you felt like when you heard about this picture yeah. last night. That was entirely, entirely different than we were about. Um, yeah, I was, I was a young kid at that, at that time, you know what I mean? That was like me when I thought I was Michael Jackson, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That wasn't my rap music phase. I didn't get, get into my rap music phase yet. I was still like young. So, um, yeah, when he did that, one of my mans from Brooklyn, my man OG, you know, he was at the summer jam that day. So, G called my phone. I'm like, what's up, son? He like, yo, son. He's like, yo, I told you that bitch was going to come back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what you talking about? He said, man, she's going to change this. Put the bitch out of the movie, just like Michael Jackson. I just started dying laughing. It was funny for me, you know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. It was funny. And you say later on in the book that you think it was a shanty game in the picture, right? Yeah, it, it probably came from that angle, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the way it, it probably came from. Because you know when your grandmother passed, and she was a funeral, because she was her family's part, she learned how to dance with me. Yeah. Your grandmother, she was really embarrassed she was a funeral. Yeah, it was like a little bit, you know, a little funny, but um, I think it probably came from that angle right there, you know what I'm saying? So, once and for all, do you feel like Jay-Z damaged Bobby? Obviously he didn't kill it, he's mm -hmm. not here, but did he damage? Not, not, not the slightest bit. Not the slightest came bit. back after that, so 800 pounds. Yeah, I mean, he didn't damn it the slightest bit. You know what I mean? He made me angry like a mom. Like, <laughs> I was tight, like, it was crazy or something, like. <laughs> but uh, nah, he ain't damn my career, because, you know, when it comes to mom deep, I'm, uh, it's like, it always goes back to mom deep, and she was like everything, you know what I mean? Like, whatever it is. Well, people's done to survive now, man. It's done work. You know what I mean?